Y'all, I just woke up, but Hino has tweeted yet again, and this information is actually vital. So, without further ado, let's take a look at what he is cooking. And of course, that is this. The production work for the first part of the Inazuma 11 Heroes Victory Road beta test trial version, it's a bloody mouthful, has been completed and we are waiting for the release date. It seems that many people are predicting the release date, but are they right? We plan to provide detailed information next week. Wait a while. Sick. But, I mean, it's obvious to see what this means. It means we are getting genuine detailed information, I'm assuming about the release of the beta, next week. When next week? We don't know. But next week, which is really exciting. I think there are only two weeks left in March. But this, this next week we get information. That's awesome. It does probably mean, and I saw this, uh, I want to make sure I credit the person who said this, who I saw, Pegachan over here, who did say, if detailed information is available next week, it most likely will be distributed the week after next, which means that more than likely, this is coming out the last week of March, which is kind of, I feel like, what people were starting to expect, the whole theory about it coming out the 28th. Looks like that might actually be true. But, as you can see, that's not all to this tweet, because there is a lovely little image. Look at this! Uh, I'm assuming this is, I mean, I think we can we can actually look at some translations for this image and try and figure out more about what it is. I'm actually just going to hide my face for a second. So you can see the top corner there with the 0 out of 400 next and the little bronze V. But this looks really cool. This is obviously um, a formation with obviously lots of Japanese text that we need translating. And now luckily, I know just the person. What's up, the Brasm? Someone who obviously... I look at their tweets a lot for this kind of stuff because they're normally on point with some really interesting information. Make sure you go follow them, subscribe to their YouTube channel. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at what they're saying about this. So, some additional Im info on the image here. The tactics, for example. So, where are these tactics? Where are these tactics? I'm assuming these ones where it says tactics. Yeah. Uh, Crescent Moon, as you can see from the little icon. Uh, Flame Fortress. Yeah, fair. Uh, Bond Protocol. Is Bond Protocol really a... Lightning Bolt? That makes sense. Why? The menu options on the left include Kazuna Link, Tactics, Uniform, Emblem, and more. We see Rank Caravan in the top right, so this should be online. Tad weird to advertise the first party or beta, which is apparently just single player, with a screen from online, but I won't question that. But what I also want to take, why is his bench player higher level than his starting 11? This is a strange formation to begin with, to be honest, because he's playing, uh, at some point in his life, he's playing Arian and Heath as, like, wingbacks, as his fullbacks. Um, and then he's, and then I pointed out he's playing JP as his attacking midfielder. Why is he doing that? Is he stupid? Hino, what are you doing? On the bench, you've got Nathan and Hurley, and yet JP is who you opted to go for. I'm definitely going to do a video where I, called Playing in Azuma 11 Victory Road as Level 5 Intended. And it's, it's me using this weird-ass formation. I mean, Xavier's Axel Victor is a really good front three. But this is just strange. Why are his bench players all perfect level 21? But he's not playing any of them. That, that's such... That's so weird. And obviously, Hillman is his level 17 coach. Or, sorry, leader. And yeah, this is just a really interesting look at what I'm assuming I'm going to be looking at for a lot of my victory road time. Which is the online screen. As you can see up in the top corner, obviously, we've got that... Uh, rank caravan type emblem going on uh, next uh, zero to 400 so i'm assuming every match you get stuff towards that and you can increase your rank which is very exciting uh, i can't wait for victor road to actually have some like an online scene even just the beta having an online scene will actually be such a such a massive thing for these games and it will be so so weird going from like galaxy and stuff which obviously we just kind of just play by ourselves and um, going to this, where it's going to be the whole fun for me, at the very least, is going to be playing this against different people online, playing this against you guys live, which I can't wait to do. The other funny thing about this whole situation then, and this tweet, and the fact that we get information next week, is this. Bloody TV Pegachan, who is, for those who don't know, a Japanese YouTuber who makes Sims 11 videos, as well as a level 5 ambassador, so he has meetings with level 5 where they tell him, like, the goss. He tweeted out, like, a couple days ago, we will have an announcement sometime next week. Now, this probably just is referring to his YouTube channel, and that's, I feel like, the smart thing to assume here. But it is hilarious that everyone who thought he was talking about Zoom 11 
inadvertently was right. Because I don't think he was, but we, we are getting an announcement next week. So, you know what, Pegachan? You're a genius. You're an apps. Because now people are going to see him as, like, the messiah. That is hilarious. You know what? Fair play, though. I wish I could had that kind of insight and could make those kind of comments and people just believe me. Instead, I, I don't know what I tweet. It, it's nothing this exciting. But, yeah, are you guys excited to learn more about the beta and hopefully the release date? Because that's why I think surely this is them saying we're announcing the release date for the beta next week. Surely. Unless they're just going to drop the beta next week. But surely this is them announcing a release date. Come on. Please. But if you're excited, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I can't wait to get started um, covering this beta on the YouTube channel. That's really, really exciting. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single upload of that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.